Shut up and sit down. Hey, and welcome to the Free MMA Podcast, where it doesn't matter if you're a casual fan or a championship fighter. Join us in our discussion about the beautiful sport, which is mixed martial arts. Hey, and welcome to the newest episode of the Free MMA Podcast. I am Reza. Uh, I hope everyone's having a great week because it's hot as hell right now. I hope everyone's enjoying the summertime and not, you know, it's not aggravating them too much. Um... I might sound or see like look a little bit tired because I attempted to watch the UFC last night. Um, it was Dustin Poirier versus Dan Hooker, but like a lot of European problems, I ended up falling asleep. Uh, but I heard it's a great fight, and that's definitely one that you should watch. Also, Mike Perry and Mickey Gall. That was that's also something that I ended up missing. But that's life, you know. We get tired. Uh, we gotta stay safe. But speaking of saying staying safe, coronavirus has been kicking our asses recently. Well, not recently, but for the majority of the year. And sports are finally starting to come back um, in Europe. We have the Premier League. And now in Sweden, we're going to be having our first MMA event since coronavirus 2020. So... We have Fight Club Rush coming to Vesteros, which is doing a closed arena show and will be showing on July 4th, only on pay-per-view. You should probably check out their Instagram, which will be down below in the description on whatever platform you're watching us on. Um, So I was lucky to have the chance to speak to the promoter of Fight Club Rush during this busy time of coronavirus and making fights to talk about what it's like to be a promoter during this time and what's happening with Fight Club Rush really. Uh, he spoke about a lot of injuries and illnesses that he has to go, well not go through himself, but his fighters have to go through to make a fight card. And, you know, promoters need to be perfectionists. They want to put on the best card that they can. So I think... Uh, he was trying to do that. Oh, shit, I don't even think I said his name yet. Um, so we were speaking to Slatko Ostrogonak. Uh, one of those names that everyone's going to get wrong, right? Uh, so we were speaking about Fight Club Rush and what's going to be happening uh, with the Swedish MMA soon, uh, scene in the future. So without further ado, here is my interview with Slatko. Okay, so today's episode. We are talking to Zlatko, who is um, one of the masterminds behind Fight Club Rush and also your own media production. Uh, I think it would be best for you to actually introduce yourself because you know your resume and everything. So I'll, I'll send it over to you. Yeah, my name is Zlatko Zdronac. I'm uh, me, my brother Davor and Jürgen. We are running Fight Club Rush and uh, I have media uh, house, uh, how do you say that? Uh, that working with uh, video, video editing and video filming. So yeah, we was connecting video editing, video filming uh, with MMA and make one event so we can promote fighters. <laughs> you understand? What I mean, and fight. Yep. So uh, we'll talk about the biggest news right now, which is uh, Fight Club Rush Seven, which is going to be July fourth, only on pay per view. You're not going to be having any fans in in uh, the audience. How how difficult was this to to start? Shall I say? Where did the idea come from? Yeah, it was like talking. It was so empty on MMA scene in Sweden and Scandinavia in the world. And we saw that what UFC do, does this uh, live, just live 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 events on the pay per view of TV. And uh, we're talking with, with our streaming team, Fighter TV. If if we can make some deal. To like just make event live, you know, just something to roll. We can't have huge fights because it's much high risk. But we can try to make the best of the situation. And uh, I was sitting talking with Jurgen and Dawar, and uh, we were start to talk about this, so, like to make this event just in small arena and uh, make it possible, you know. And we, when we start to look at it, then we 
we find some good deals but uh, swimming team with the uh, arena and fighters was like they want to fight they have not fight since february in sweden on, on the world you know mm -hmm. so it was in the beginning we make good we make one fight card this totally a pro fight card this, this every fight is cancelled because of sickness or injuries so we made one one new fight card with this fight that we have up now it's really difficult to make event because you we, we get permission to only have swedish fighters here and uh it's much harder because everybody knows each other you know and that's the problem to get this fight done you know sweet swedish fight between one between each other it's much easier if we can have, make uh international fights but the idea come from i think both me my brother and Jurgen was like we need to do this and test ourselves and see if we can make it and um I think I think we're gonna make it, yeah, and hope we're gonna make more events like this yeah, this year. Yeah, like you were saying, I mean, the Swedish MMA community, even though it's so closely knitted, it, it's probably super competitive as well. Uh, I mean, there are fighters, not so many fighters in each weight class, and they've probably faced each other before in in yeah. the Swedish nationals and and things like that. So, I completely understand what you're saying. It was difficult, you know, it's really difficult to make this. Oh, you cut out this for a second there. I think this, we think this fight is going to be amazing because all these guys and girls are coming to fight and they're like all in. Uh, they have really good like feedback from people and they, they want to see a fight, you know. They don't, give, they don't give a fuck who is fighting, they just want to see the fight happen again. And um, if, this, if we get support from the, from the fans, if people are buying pay-per-views, then we can definitely make much more events, um, at least one more event this year. I mean, mm. We're going to see what happens with Corona. If this continues like this until next year, then we need to continue. We need to keep moving forward, you know. If, if one fighter don't fight for one year in his career or her career, it's really, it's a lot of time, you know. So we need to keep rolling all the time, make more events. Yeah, and I mean, how much of a uh, financial downfall is this as well? I mean, people like like yourself and other promoters here in Sweden is mostly tickets for off the gate that that people earn from. And like like you know, tickets. That's how we. I would not say earn money because we don't earn a lot of money. I would say like that's how we pay fighters. How we do do this event, but we don't have tickets, so now we pay per view. But uh, we it was really negotiation with a lot of a lot of parts to get down the coast so we can make events happen you know so it was really it's difficult you know it's a big risk because everybody wants you need to pay arena you need to pay lights you need to pay fires you need to do everything as usual and get down the coast and sponsorships it's more difficult now than before you know nobody mm -hmm. wants to bring with money because everybody is afraid before, because of corona crisis you know so it's really it's really hard it's really hard but we, we're ready to take the risk and try and see if swedish people can start to buy pay-per-views then they can have fights in sweden yeah so uh is is the fight card complete now is it down on paper and you have you have the fights that you uh, yes not what you wanted at first but you now have a a a, a structure for or what is going yeah. to be happening July 4th? It's completed and we are working on like to get it, every fight out soon, you know, you know, to publish everything. So I hope, I hope we're going to have everything when you live, when you, when you put this interview up on the uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. But That's... we're working on it, we're working on it and I can say like this, I'm looking forward to see this fight because like I told you, these guys and girls that aren't on this card, they want to like fight. They're active and they like active. Uh, many of them are strikers and uh, good grapplers. So it's like upcoming talent. Mm -hmm. that, that's what the reason. Uh, we want to like put this upcoming talents and give them the shine a little bit so everybody can watch them. You know. Yeah, it's quite happy to hear that uh, a lot of the fighters were up to fighting as well. They were hungry and uh, like you said i don't know the percentage but the majority of the fighters that you probably spoke to wanted to be on this card because not only is it a history making card because of this corona time and everything but also that these people are waiting to get in there and 
probably earn their money as well. Yeah, many, many ways to get in there, but you need, you need to think like this. It's summer. Many of them don't want to train also, you know, they don't want to keep go, go into a camp right now, you know. And it's normal because we all, all, all want to chill in summer. Nice weather. It's weekend. then. We don't have like sun all the time here and everybody wants to take a break in the summer, middle of summer. So I think these guys that want to fight now, that they we have now, they're all in, you know, they want to, this, these guys and girls really want to fight. That's what make me ex uh, like this. Is why I'm looking forward to this event because they're they're looking for a really good fight, you know. And, and I think everybody gonna go all in. And like you said, you you are in partnership with both your brother and uh, Jurgen, who who works at um, Best Ross Fight Club. How difficult was the process with the Swedish MMA Federation to actually get this card up and running? It was like chance, take a chance eight weeks before or something like that. I don't remember. It was like we we send the sanction and see what they say. And we will send the sanction after what, like one week. We get answered what we need to do, what we need to think about, and it was it was going to go, you know. So it was I don't know. We just sent sending the sanction and get the answer. So it was really it's difficult because you you need you need to be beyond the forty persons inside the arena and we need to like have a look on that all the time mm. and uh like uh, when i say 40 persons in the arena it sounds for you it sounds like okay it's okay it's not some it's okay number but when you count when you count every 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 fighter trainer uh judges and stuff like that you're close to that you know you come really close to that and we need to like have a good structure we're gonna have it and we're gonna have really good structure to only have uh, 40 persons in, in arena and uh, nobody can get inside that are not working here or fighting here. Uh, a little inside information. We were speaking uh, before this interview a, a couple of weeks ago and your Facebook actually got shut down because the amount of people that actually wanted to get into the event, I heard. No, that's not true, man. No? I, I no, thought, I, I thought everyone true. was asking you for a ticket kind of thing. No, 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 no. A few weeks ago, was some uh, Facebook wanted some ID from me. I didn't want to send it because I, I don't want to send my ID. But oh, okay. And then the Facebook won. Oh, so it <laughs> so was that... something else through the rumor mill of MMA media, should I say? Yeah, yeah. No. Well, no, ha no. Has didn't... your phone been <laughs> blowing up like that? People asking you, you know, can I be there or, you know, I want to be there, kind of thing. It's difficult, you know, because, like. When when one person asks you can, can be there, is telling no, he can think like oh, this is guy is fucked up, you know. But we need to like really, we need to really think about who who why you're here, what you're gonna do here. If you if you're not doing anything, go out, you know. Yeah. But of course, it, it's always like this before events. You get the mess, you know. You get like mails all the time. Can you fix the tickets? Can you fix the tickets? Can you give me a ticket? But everybody needs to understand that. Uh, to have events, we need to sell tickets, not not your way. <laughs> yeah. So. So no money, uh, no black money changing hands to be actually get into the arena, though. <laughs> no, 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 definitely not because <laughs> that's dangerous, man. No, we don't. No, no black money, man. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm I'm sure that everyone is looking forward to the event. Uh, is it on Fighter TV that it's going to be sent on, right? Yeah, Fighter TV. Uh, they have got their channel on Stay Alive, and uh, you can buy. One paper for 149 Swedish kroner. Okay, there'll be a link down below if anyone wants to check it out as well. Yeah. Um, so, as I said, you're you're happy with the fight card that that you have now produced as well. I listen. I'm never happy. You know, I mm -hmm. always want better and better fights. So, but I'm happy to be be making an event in these uh, conditions. You know, making an event when. Everybody's staying and waiting. On, everybody's on, is on a hold on. So I'm really happy that we can make make this true, you know. Mm. And like I told, I, I, I love fighting. I love to see amateur fights. I'm like sometimes sometimes I'm more glad to see these amateur fights that we have than pro fights, you mm -hmm. know, because I feel that amateurs they just go in and and fight, you know. They don't think about the record. They don't think about the strategy and stuff like that. They go just go in and fight, and. Uh, that's why I'm pushing a lot of amateurs to have on on our platform, you know.
Yeah. So I'm I'm glad with it, uh, of course. But like you told you, every event I want better and better, better better fight card, and I'm never like 100. percent uh, How can I say? I'm never 100 percent like this is it. You know, I always want better and better fights. So if you ask me, <laughs> I'm never I'm never said I'm, I'm never like that. That's it. I always want better. Yeah, I have been around you during during one of your work days at your events, and you do seem like you are. Like your mind is everywhere at that moment, uh, from the first fight of the car that on the amateurs to to the last kind of thing. But I guess this time as well, you can't really fly off for a holiday once everything is done. No, of course. Because, listen, making events is difficult, man. It's a lot of job before. It's a lot of job on that day, and usually when I'm done with one event, I don't want to see my phone for one week. You know, yeah. honestly. So I feel like I'm totally, totally broke. <laughs> I'm totally like, I, I can't do nothing. I just need to sleep. So it's a lot of work, but always like, I always like have start to play new event mm. all, all the time. I have new events all the time in my brain, you know, I always searching for new dates. Like now I want to make episode eight already. <laughs> so we're working on all of this and constantly, you know. Do you, do you think that after Fight Club Rush 7, it will be Fight Club Rush 8 that is the next Swedish MMA event? Or do you think someone else, uh, I don't know if you call them your competitors or other promotions, would uh, bring up a card similar to Fight Club Rush 7? I, I, th- I think, uh, I know that I know that we're going to see some more events. Um, and that's good, you know. So, I, would, I think Fight Club Rush... Eight is only going to be the next event in Sweden. We're going to have events be- between. That's what I think. Hmm. That's that's why I know. <laughs> oh, you know it. You've heard somewhere down the down the pipeline yeah, as yeah. well. Okay. Um. So again, for well, Fighter TV is where you're going to be buying the pay per view. We'll leave the link down below yeah. and everything. Uh, we'll also leave a link to the Fight Club Rush Instagram. So if any kind of news or anything, you'll be able to check it out there or or from us. You never know. Um. Thank you for your time, Slacko, and uh, we look forward to seeing the pay-per-view. We look forward to seeing you in the future, and uh, take it easy. Don't, you don't want to be, you know, the first one to die from uh, from planning an event either. <laughs> but I'm, I'm ready to do it, no problem. <laughs> All right. Thank- if, I die, if I die because I'm a man, I'm, I'm going to be die happy. You're, you'll put it onto, your, uh, onto the tombstone kind of thing. Yeah. All right, yeah, but no. thank you for your time, man. Thank- Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.